Hello, everybody, and welcome to Jurassic World again, where, yes, I did it last second. Oh, I barely remembered. Uh, it looked like for the last day, this tournament just didn't um, change. Like, the numbers never changed. So, um, I was able to get the Mosasaur uh, Gen 2, uh, which is very lucky. Because if it kept on going up and up and up every day, I wouldn't be able to uh, uh, been able to get it. So I think it was like 1,500 cups or trophies, whatever you want to call it. But here we go. 2,500. 500 bucks. 284,000 food. Who cares about that? But really, that's what we want is the Mosasaur Gen 2. But you might be, you might be shocked. Beavers! Ooh, but th th that's the video over. Uh, no, it's not, because there's something even better that has came out. Um, that you guys, actually, I saw on Facebook. I was like, whoa, okay, well, I guess I'm recording that as well today. Not only am I yelling as a shark killing people, if you haven't checked out that video, go check it out now. Man eater, very good game. Uh, but we're also checking out a new creature in this game, Ultimate Isis. Ooh, I can't wait. But anyway, uh, uh, what are you any better? 2,000 health, 1,000? It's, it's all right. Um, so I'm just going to collect some food. So sorry if my, my voice sounds pretty much dead. It's because it is. I've just recorded an hour of the shark thing. Had a quick break, grabbed a cup of tea, and now here I am again wearing out my voice. So we're just collecting all of the freebies. The 200 bucks and, of course, ZDNA from Z Building, as well as a free pack. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's in, like, the game, <laughs> this, this new creature. And it's not just, like, people who have got, like, the Russian hacked version of the game or whatever. Um, so we'll just quickly, yeah, look, we finished the Dominator League, so it's another 20 uh, super uh, DNA. Remember, check the news just in case every, every day or so, because they are uh, giving away 100 free super DNA because... Uh, the code 19, <laughs> aptly named, um, is uh, having issues at the moment. So I'm just going to feed this guy to level 10 because I've had him at level 1 for ages and there's really no need for it. But level 1 to 10 difference, it's a lot and I definitely use it because I've noticed it. Um, so if we go into news, here we are, the new hybrid. We had this tease just after I made my last video and I know this isn't the Monday and we're covering it. Uh, a new hybrid fuse Zalmoxis and Pteranodon to make Zalmonodon. What is it? Zalmonodon. Uh, it looks a bit like um, something from Godzilla. What's that one called? G not Ghidorah. Rodan. Rodan, that's the one. It's a bit like Rodan. But we'll call it Ultimate Eyes. Because it is Pteranodon. Now, in my last top 10 video, I put not Coolosaurus up there. I put Coolosuchus. Um, Pteranodon net wasn't even near the top 10, but now Pteranodon will be near the top 10 because you'll need to get that level 40. Um, so let's, how about we, uh, well, first I just want to check the trades. Ooh, 23 million coin for that. I'll take it. Uh, ooh, 11 million coin for that. I'll take it. Some very good trades. Uh, that is very lucky. I've got 30 million coin here. Uh, however, I have all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sell a bunch of these in order to get some money. Now, the reason why I'm getting money uh, is because if we have a lot of money and I do the trade for coin, that means that I'll be able to get better creatures for a DNA trade or a coin trade. If I only have, say, 40 million coin like I have now, I'll probably only get trades of 20 million coin to 30 million coin. Uh, it, and even in some cases, when you click coin, it doesn't give you the option to trade coin for Jurassic creatures. And they're the ones that are the most expensive, uh, according to the uh, Jurassic World Evolution algorithm. I just apologize that uh, I'm now just... Whoa, it's, it looks crazy, right? <laughs> it's, it's an eyesore, really, to, to have to watch this. But you know what? That'll do. I'll not do any more. I'll not bore you with it. Uh, we've also got some more places being excavated, I think. Yep. At least two more. Uh, now, if we go into the trade harbor, go into here, we click coin, we can click Jurassic. 35 million. There you go. Look, 35 million already. Diplotator. Done. Now, if we click coin, see, I can't do any of those trades because I just don't have enough coin. Um, so, uh, hold on guys, tell you what, I need to do this, so, uh, I'll not put you through it, be right back. 
Okay, there we go. We cleared it out. Good lord. All of John Hammond's gone. Another 30 million, so it's probably about 60 that I sold. Coin and Jurassic and a Therizinosaurus for 47,000. Now, people told me to click the coin and then select mods, and that way you can get some really good gold level mods for cheap. However, Actually, you know what? That's not bad. That's pretty good. Killer Instinct. Every time I've done it recently, uh, I just get commons or rares. And I'm like, well, I have to take it because otherwise it's like a, 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 thro a thrown away coin and a trade, more importantly. So here we go, guys. We've had Segnosuchus. Definitely up there. Top 10 best creatures. It is a herbivore, meaning it's... Um, well, uh, maybe not top 10 because it's weak to carnivores and there's carnivores everywhere. Um, but definitely up there is uh, over here. Uh, if we can find him, he's going to be right there. There it is. Sleepy. Go sleepy. Uh, Nemwi, is it? Is it Nemwi? Is that exhausted or tired? Something in Japanese? Oh, I can't remember. It's Okimas or na na Namas. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, Metrophodon, one of the best creatures in the game because it is a flyer and it's really good against amphibians. And if you've got a team of carnivores, all you need is one flyer. And that one flyer can take out the amphibians and then the carnivores can run through everything. Best team combo, uh, a two carnivores and a flyer or two flyers and a carnivore. That way, like, nothing can take them on. Uh, especially when herbivores to take out the flyers need to have loads of health usually and carnivores can rip right through them. Uh, but this guy now has an ally, Metrophodon, one of the most expensive hybrids in the game. Oh, look at it. Eyes. No, oh, eyes. Uh, oh, wait, what? Is it not? It says max level. This creature has reached its max level. Congratu- What? What? What do you mean? A new hybrid. Fuse Almoxies and Tyrandon to create the new hybrid. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, wait, where's Almoxies? Do I have some? Oh, maybe I don't have Zalmoxies maxed up. Ooh. Now, Zalmoxies is a herbivore. And herbivores will be up here. There you are. There's Zalmoxies. What do you mean? Eh, why can't I make it? What? What do you mean? Oh, there's got to be an update, right? How come I can't? How come I can't make it? Whoa, this makes no sense. Uh, shake this. So Zalmoxies is coming in case you haven't unlocked it already, which is good. Uh, I would love to fuse it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna close the game and we're gonna reopen it. In fact, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll have a look to see if there's any updates. Try it on. Oh, there it is. I was wondering why. <laughs> it's probably because that didn't tick over until the most sore event had to be cleared. So here we go, fusing Tyranodon with Zalmoxies to make one of the best creatures in the game. Another fly of 500 DNA. I'll take it. You know what? Take the books. Take the DNA. And we're about to see the best um, hybrid in the game. And I know why. <laughs> and you don't know yet. Maybe you don't. Ooh! That's because its cost is cheap at the moment. Um, now, usually, I don't know why, but um, normally when a hybrid comes out, it's either unbalanced in it, the terms of stats or it's unbalanced as in it's too cheap. Oh god, he looks so small! <laughs> oh, Chisidus. Anyway, so here it is, Zalmonodon unlocked at level 48,000 health and 2,600 attack. Oh my god, that's powerful. That's so... And it, we, you know, it's on, it's on Easel Sauna. It's on Site B. The game decided, you know what, that's where it's going. Okay, it's in the corner. Can we put, not put it in the corner? I want to put it all the way in the corner. Also, there is an Easter egg in this. Now, somebody spotted it. I'm assuming it's on this side. Uh, we've got the Avery there. Um, is it along here? Oh, come on. Where is it? I, I thought it was so cool. I never noticed it before. It's going to be along the shoreline. Okay, so we've got... This, this is the Jurassic Park 3 research facility where uh, Amanda Kirby gets scared by a raptor. I think that's what that is. So, but if we go along here, there it is. I don't know why it's all the way down there, but the exploded trailer from the Lost World makes an appearance. Oh, I love it. I love that they put that in there. I never noticed it. That's beautiful. I'm wondering if there's anything else here that I haven't even noticed either. 
But anyway, anyway, so we have this guy. Uh, at level 1, 482 attack and 1,542 health. At level 10, 2,313 health and 723 attack. And you know the rule of thumb, guys. You get a hybrid, there is no point keeping it level 1. Because I've lost Zalmoxis and a Tranodon for this. Zalmoxis is more of the, the, the one I'm... I'm gonna feel more because Zalmoxie's had 1,200 attack and this guy doesn't even have that and it was a herbivore um, so I may as well collect this collect some food Zalmonodon hatchlings could take up to six months before learning to fly this delay is likely the result of its mammal DNA wait what what do you mean by mammal DNA what, what do you mean mammal DNA that's not right oh okay but we now, uh, actually I can turn around and just go on here, can I click on him? And now here's the market. So it has, well, it's actually 5,007, well, 6,000 and odd DNA cheaper than a Metrophodon. So, and actually out of all of these legendary hybrids, it's the cheapest, I think. Is it the cheapest? Yeah, I think it is. Or maybe, hold on. No, it's not. Cerizinosaurus, Alogamus. Erlophosaurus, Gorgosuchus, but saying that, three of those are carnivores. And uh, it's a little bit more expensive than Segnosuchus. However, mm, it's not worth it really when you think about it. They kind of look even because, you know, Segnosuchus has double the attack, but Zalmonodon has double the health. But really, you know, you do two attacks and you're getting, you know, plus, what, 20% to your attack already. So attack you really want like four or five times health for the amount of attack. Um, but it is a flyer um, and you only have a couple more dinosaurs higher level than it. Um, let's have a look at the highest. So, Udon has 11,000 health, this guy has 8,000. Udon has 3,600 attack, this guy has 2,600 attack. So, 1,000 less attack and 3,000 less health, but at a price reduction of 23,000 DNA. Well, 22,100 DNA. Or 20... 20 22,900 DNA? Well, you know what I mean. It's 22,000 DNA cheaper. That's for one. You buy eight of that, times that by eight, when you, you're looking at what, like 200,000, less than two, just under 200,000 DNA, the price difference. And you're going to probably want Zalmonodon more than you're going to need a Udon, because you got Udon, Pachygalosaurus, Glyphornix, Cerizinosaurus, Alagamus, Perlophosaurus, Prytrona, all of these hybrids that are carnivores. Um, however, we have one to two flies and one herbivore so i'm assuming we're going to get another herbivore hybrid but because i have the money and i have the box and look look at that i've already got segna suits in there i bought that i don't know when but i was like you know what let's just plonk that in and here we go what's better than one well two fusing them together to make two well what oh god james math <laughs> so here we go a level 20. Uh, whenever you get a hybrid i would always suggest making a level 20 because usually the level 10 isn't as good as the best of the, what you've hybridized together and level 20 is it's definitely up there so already at level 11 937 attack and just under one under 3000 health taking it to level 20 it now has uh 1238 attack and 3963 health so it has on par with Zalmoxie's attack, but double, not maybe even triple the health. Um, changing its type, you know, from a herbivore to a car, uh, sorry, flyer. I think that's worth it. So even more food. Zalmonodon's preferred meal is berries. <laughs> and is, it's not, it's eyes. <laughs> and is an expert at plucking them off the bush while in mid-flight. Okay, I'll correct that. Zalmonodon's preferred meal is eyes. And is an expert at plucking them out of people's heads when in mid-flight. <laughs> that's what it should be. <laughs> oh dear. What does a level 40 what does it look like? Oh, it's kind of like a Tronodon. And we can just increase the brightness on that to see exactly what it looks like. Eh, that's pretty, that's all right. That's okay. So now what do we have? Yes, we have some sought after battles. Uh, also, we have a common pack in here to get if we so wished, which we could easily get. 
Um, and we don't have anything to unlock yet. We've got the Shake the Earth, the Zalmoxes, which is just clocked over. So if you want to, we'll do one battle in here. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, what is it? What's the rules? Only a fly and only amphibian. Oh, interesting. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, let's see. So we've got half the things to choose from. In fact, amphibians and flyers, I think, are the least uh, abundant creatures in the game. <laughs> so there really is, that's, that's taking a lot of dinosaurs out. So I'm assuming that you're gonna need less points to win this one. And that added to the fact that this is only happening for what, three days? If that, um, whereas the uh, Mosasaur Gen 2 was a good week. I think it was a solid week. Uh, so yeah, I'd rather it kill me. And it can kill me one hit, so that is nice. Little Columbo goes for it. Nah! Zing, zing, bazing. <laughs> Killed you in one hit. Oh, oh, it's a good t Now, what was interesting, right? Man Eater just came out, and it, well, it just came out on the Epic Play Store. However, um, there has been, like, uh, like obviously they went round or something happened. They gave loads of review or press keys out uh, to people to review it and to make gameplay footage on it. And there would have been some embargo, I'm sure. But what I don't get is... And I don't want to come off as like, Ooh, uh, you know, uh, me, I, I, I'm worthy of all of this. How dare they? But from a marketing standpoint... I'm pretty sure you can type in sharks or let's play sharks or, you know, something like that. And at least one of my videos would come up, whether it's my Jaws Unleashed video or Hungry Shark. I mean, on my channel, the second most viewed video ever and for the longest time top most viewed video was a Hungry Shark video. Yet the team at Maneater never got in touch with me. And from like from a... A marketing standpoint, a promotional standpoint, it that makes no sense whatsoever. I've had people or companies in the past, um, I think it was Universal actually, say, "Oh, we've been trying to get in touch with you. We just don't know how." And I'm like, "What? What do you mean you don't? You go on YouTube. You go about. It gives me me business email." <laughs> like, <laughs> so I don't, I don't get that. And I'm on Twitter, so if you want to contact me, it's there. Um, I think that was them just being like, oh yeah, we've been trying to contact you. Like, have you? Have you really? Through the copyright system. <laughs> and I mean, I'm grateful for everything that I've gotten from, from YouTube or everything. All you guys who've supported me through thick and thin. Wow, we got rage. Wow, rare rogues. Awesome. Oh, that's, that, that was, that's rare. <laughs> that's really rare to get on a, on a spin wheel. But I'll take it. I ain't gonna say no. Um, so, okay, let's do one of these. We'll, we'll, we'll shelve that topic for the time being. <laughs> I mean, we need to do Gen 2 Fury. We need to do it. Oh, wow. Okay. Hoo hoo. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Where is this level 20 hybrid now? Where's Almonodon? Where are you? Where are you, buddy? Okay. Uh, there it is. Zalmon, level 20. It is on par with a level 40 hybrid, uh, like a regular hybrid, legendary. And it's a little bit weaker than a, like, you know, because the dragon, this thing, Sundopterus, isn't that great. Uh, Indominus is a good one, so it's below a level 30. But I think at level 30, it beats all level 40s. Oh, excuse me. It's because it's a tournament one. Uh, so what's the best option here? Carnivores are kind of out because... Uh, they've got a good amphibian. It's You want amphibians. Because Dilophosaurus is halved attack. Uh, the Ehrlichosaurus can't do anything. And then Micro... Uh, yeah, it's just a full team of amphibians. We need to go for this one to be safe. Uh, and look at that. Level 20. L I mean, it's not the best. Really? I think I'm going to do that one. But I mean, Diplosuchus, how can I complain? It's a super rare hybrid. At level 20, it's so flipping good. And it's basically free. I can't complain. Lydia have done a lot of things in the past that have annoyed me uh, when it comes to like changing the game and all that jazz. But adding super DNA in and getting these amazing hybrids for free was a genius move. Genius. Amazing. Love it. Great job, guys. It's dead, but you know, that's my own fault. <laughs> 
So, uh, I'm gonna go for two block and three reserves here, because I don't want to die. Actually, I should have went for three block. Oh, God. I, I believe in Mastodonosaurus, however. I do believe. Um, so I'm gonna, it's, I'm gonna leave all of the Master on a source. I'm gonna hopefully make Microsaurus go for as many attacks as possible to kill me. Hopefully he goes for five and not four. Because even that one extra would be annoying. Yes! Okay. Okay, it's a bad situation, but we're looking good. I think. He'll probably switch out Ehrlichosaurus. Uh, oh, that's annoying. Okay, so one, two. I don't think Dilophosaurus can kill me in two hits. And even then... Uh, I could have went for one block, actually. I could have went for one block, because he's going to switch out. Um, but at least I'm safe. Yeah. Oh, saying that, though, that is 3,000 damage. Okay, so he's got two block, and we need to make sure that this thing dies. So one, two, three, it's dead. Factor in two, and then I might as well go for one block? We're, we've pretty much survived, even when this uh, Ulicosaurus has six attack. Can only go for five. Um, and two, four, six, eight, ten, that's like a thousand. Probably three thousand attack at max. Let's see. I think three thousand. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was very wrong. And um, there you go. And really, all I used was my Mastodonosaurus out of all those creatures that were technically good. Um, the Diplosuchus are, they're good in their own right anyway. So no restrictions. Here we go. What's underpowered? It is a herbivore. Uh, so, I, yeah, carnivores. As long as it's not an amphibian, I have a plethora of carnivores. I may as well go for them. So, we're not, we're not gonna waste an attack on Shunosaurus. Shunosaurus being alive for us is better because he's gonna waste go switching it out. Um, and we don't wanna waste any of our goes killing it. So, I'm gonna go for one block here just in case. Probably should have went for two. Uh, but, oh god, please don't go for three. Oh, we're alive! And because of that, because Indoraptor has so much more attack than anything else, I'm going to switch in Tani Colagrius, or Tani Colagrius. I don't know which one it is, but somebody in the comments did tell me I got it right. <laughs> so one of those. Oh, that, he's got one block. That's okay. That's okay. I can live with it. Once we take out Megalosaurus, it's only Quetzal left. And the Shunosaurus is... It's three against two, basically. So one, two, three. Kills it factor in one. And I'm so confident, I'm just going to go for four reserves. Yeah, there you go. Uh, 2,800 attack to 2,600 attack. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you can kill me in two. Even if he does... Oh, no! No, Raptor, no! Worst case scenario would have been if he went for two. This is actually not too bad. Because now we can go for the one, two, three, four, and that definitely kills him. And then Shunosaurus, sh oh, you what? You what? Not gonna do anything. So much so, I'm not even gonna block. You can go for as many hits as you want, buddy. After I saw that five hits was only, what, 2,000 damage? Yeah, you're not doing that. So we'll go for one hit, factor in four, and then three ro <laughs> three YOLOs. <laughs> three Rolos? Mm, I do like a Rolo. I haven't had Rolos in ages. My God. Do you have those in America? Or anywhere that you are? I'm assuming you're American. Most of my audience is American. Uh, okay. So, ooh, this one's a good one. Now we can definitely go for carnivores because Eupocephalus is one of the good ones. So we can nerf that. Prime Suit is, is a weak one. So it basically doesn't even exist. So we can ignore it. And Secodonosaurus, however, does have a lot of attack. Uh, sorry, health. Uh, we could kill him if we wanted to, but Second Sutures can kill us in two hits, I think. You know what? I don't think it can. I don't think it can. So I'm just gonna get that out of the way. I think it would be like 4,800 damage if he did attack us, but I don't, like, if he went for two. Oh, we're gonna survive! Oh god! Money where mouth is! Yes! I thought so! Yeah, there you go. And two reserves! Not bad. Not bad at all. So now, what? Ooh, oh yes! And now we might as well just go all out. Might as well. Yeah, and we kill them. And there you go. Game set. One match done. <laughs> oh, oh! You're going to kill me with one? Then I'm gonna go for four reserves, and then I'm gonna go for eight, and that's it. Game. Now I'm. <laughs> we need the Gen Two T Rexes, right? And we need the Gen Two Velociraptors, if only to make a Gen Two Indominus Rex. Now, is a Gen 2 Indominus Rex any good? Probably not. And this is where it gets interesting with Jurassic World the game, right? Because for 
five years, that's as long as this game has been coming out, they have, it, it's been like this progression of, you know, uh, commons, rares, super rares, legendaries, tournaments, VIPs. Dinosaurs only get stronger and stronger and stronger. But how do you sustain that without constantly having to pump the game full? <gasps> I've been backed up for 161 weeks. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, and I haven't. Oh, there he is. Oh, not at level 40. Ooh, that's going to be toughy. I think this calls for more Indoraptors. Um, yeah, so the, like, without having to continuously pump into the game more and more stronger creatures, how do they work around making sure that you play the game and you're always striving for something else, something better or something different, something harder to get? Gen 2. That was it. Gen 2. I mean, technically, they're not better. Um, might as well go for that. They're not, they're not better, but they're harder to get. So if you have an Indominus Rex Gen 2, it's like, wow, you have an Indominus Rex Gen 2. Like, that's so many Gen 2 Rexes and so many Gen 2 Raptors to get it. Uh, not only that, but eventually, they're going to make like an Indoraptor Gen 2, aren't they? Or something, something along those lines with that Indominus Rex Gen 2. So, and that tells me, um, like the reason why I think they're going to do that, they're clamping down on hacking. Uh, anybody who plays this game who hacks um, might be banned. And I mentioned this in the previous video. What about the people on YouTube? that hack the game. What about those guys? You know, the Bagoes, the, the, you know, other people like that, um, who hack games all the time. Are they gonna ban their accounts? I mean, in, in, if you think of Ludia, uh, as a company, you, you say no. You don't ban the YouTubers because they're promoting the game because they're giving us money. But, if you don't ban those and you're banning other people, that looks bad on you! So, what I'm curious to see what Ludia are going to do. I don't think they're going to ban the YouTubers that are covering this game, you know, the non-commentary channels. Even though they could very easily find their IDs and stuff. Um, so, it's... I don't know, for the longest time, for five years, they haven't banned anybody. And now they seem to be wanting to do it. Uh, Micro SDN, is this, is this worth it? Uh, it's really like three battles of this level. That's, oh, that's hard. I don't think I could do that. Hybrid showdown. Uh, oh, I can definitely do that. Ooh, let's use our new hybrid. Yes, let's use you. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll use some three level, like really low level creatures just to give you a head start. And then Zalmonodon. Oh, oops. Wow, even at level one, it can't be killed. I thought it would be. Oh. Oopsie daisies. Well, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just use you to get loads of reserves. I need this Parasaur taken out anyway. Because he's a little bit of a threat to my Zalmonodon. My ultimate eyes. Oh my god, I I'm watching uh, Full Metal Alchemist at the moment. Brotherhood, I think it is. And... It's good and bad, like, <laughs> it's, some points it's like so, uh, like, teen angsty, like, oh, emotions, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I think if I, was a, if I, I watched it when I was a teenager, I don't know if it was Brotherhood, I think it was original, and I was like, oh, this is good, and now I rewatch it, like, oh, I can't, it's like with Dragon Ball, I can't bring myself to watch Dragon Ball Z, like, I, I just have to watch Abridged, Abridged is just the best Dragon Ball Z out there. They did so much with the characters. It's beautiful. Anyway, I don't know. I was going off on an anime rant. How are you doing? Do you like anime? Probably not. <laughs> You're here for dinosaurs. Anyway, in comes Almonodon. Squaw! Ooh, I'm going to have to go for three, I think, just in case. Uh, he might have blocked for one. Okay. So even nerfed, its attack's pretty decent. Not nerfed, however, its attack's awesome. Look at that Indominus Rex. <gasps> it should have green eyes of jealousy. Whoa, half the damage. Oh, God. Half the health. I like the design. I like that look on the wings. That's awesome. Uh, and I think we're good. Yep. We all. And Carnaraptor comes in. Look at that. Carnaraptor still so flipping good. Oh, I love Carnaraptor. Such a good dinosaur. It's cheap. 
it can it can hold its weight. Look at that, level 12, it's taking on this guy, holding its own. I mean, the, the stats are uh, not very good at level 12, but level 40 could definitely hold its own against it. Oh, well, what's this? Any creature hybrids? Oh, God, no. Oh, don't do that. Uh, so, hmm, hmm. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, survey would say to put it in that way. I think let's let's do that. Let, this, this, by by mind you, these battles are costing five hundred thousand each. Okay, didn't decide to go anything. Oh, okay, let's do that. Hmm. Hmm. Was this a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. I just realized the health. <laughs> Okay, well, one, two, three kills it. Factor in one block. I think he's gonna have three, though, and two might kill me. Yep, two kills me. Yeah, I've lost. Damn it, it's because he went first. That's, that's not fair. Damn it. Wasting my commons. How could you? Okay, didn't realize the difference was so much. Okay, how about we, we do this? Two Ankylodocuses. This'll do... Why is he going first again? Stop it. <laughs> oh, you bucket, you. Right, well, I'm going to go for one block just in case, because apparently they seem to be very trigger happy with the attacks. They just want me dead. <laughs> I knew it. Going to go for three reserves. And then after this video is done, I'm going to take another little break and then record another hour of man <laughs> Back in the day, I used to be able to record so much in like hours and hours and hours I'd record and my voice would be okay. But now I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I just, I just can't do it. All right. Hopefully he didn't have one block. Oh, hopefully he didn't have one reserve either. Oh, please, please have a reserve and attack me. Oh, please do. Oh, do it. Go for it, please. Yes, I'm alive. I thought I was going to die there. <laughs> I was going to say, oh no, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, there we go. Woo. But nice to see that this battles different types. Like, you know, do doing different types of things. Uh, oh, here we go again. Here we go again. More Ankylodocuses. And he goes first again, damn it. You get so much of an advantage if you go first. It's annoying. Like, he's going to have... He could have three. And I could only have four. And, uh, well, I guess that makes sense. It's just, like... You just have so much more choice if you get to go first. He's got five. Oh, what's he going to do? Go for five, please. Three's to kill me. Oh, there we go. Hey, oh, we won. Woohoo! Two more battles. Well, including this one, they'll make it three, but you know. So, one, two, three. Kills him. Four reserve. We are headbutt. There you go. That's how you do it. Was it Land Before Time? I'm pretty sure that was something that, that like, they did in Land Before Time. They would have long the he the long necks would have whacked the sharp teeth with their heads. And three reserves, and there it is, factored into ooh a chump this time. And finally, the last Ankylodocus. You are my brother. Oh God, six could kill me. He's gonna go for six. Oh, he goes for five. Oh, okay. If I blocked for th that's weird. Why do you do that? Like, normally, if the bot knows it can kill you and it has the right amount of attacks to factor in all your blocks, it'll do it. But there, he if I blocked all, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have killed me. So there is some sort of weird algorithm where it doesn't do that. And I'm not too sure why it does it. it like, w this game's went through loads of changes. And I've seen the bots go from really easy, predictable, to super random and almost like they'll predict everything you're going to do. It's like they have an algorithm, they know exactly what your team can do, and they play it perfectly to where it is now, and it's sort of predictable, and you can kind of force them into doing what you want to do. Um, oh, wow, this one's easy. Ooh. One Gorgasuchus, please. I think that's all it's going to take. I didn't even need to do this. And he goes first again. Oh, come on. Well, at least I guess and I can, I can attack him. I might as well just go all out. Whoa, tailwind. Ooh, 327 attack. This guy, this hybrid. I've never got to level 40. Um, maybe I should. Maybe I should do that. I, you know what? Yeah, that'll be the next one I get. Because it, it's a herbivore. And 
it's a hybrid. Like a legendary hybrid. So many things, like there's so many times when I've come up against, you know, flyers or something and I needed a good herbivore. And Sigma suit just can only do so much. I don't know, maybe, maybe I should, maybe I should. It's just like, there's so much, like, there's so many carnivores in this game that even if you put a herbivore in your team, and they have one carnivore in their team, it's like, ah, do I even bother? But, like, you're, you're just so much better. Carnivores and flyers, that's it. If there's a herbivore, carnivore can take, a, take care of it. If there's an amphibian, a fly can take care of it. And that's all you need. You never need herbivores and amphibians. Like, because they're so hard to come by. Woo! A thousand DNA, don't mind if I do. And I'll also take the 260 of that. And we should have loads. Oh, Oh, look at all that! We did the Gen 2. That's 30... How much is that? 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85 super rare DNA of Raptor and Monolophosaurus. And we still need to reach the Dominator League. And should we do that? How far are we? We've got the Hunter League. If we go top league prizes. Predator and... Is there not one for Dominator or Predator? Let's have a look. There's got to be one for Predator, right? There's one for Dominator, and that's all I can see. But that doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't there be one for Predator? You know what? We'll do one more tournament battle, because I'm pretty sure we can we can get there. Hopefully this tournament's not too hard for you guys. Uh, and we're in silver now, aren't we? Let's go for that. Let's go for that. We should still get a pretty good amount of trophies for having Diplo Sutures in. I'm hoping. Let's see what we're up against. Yeah, we should. Again, like against level one Limelemos, lim lim we should be good. Although, there are two flyers on that team, so that's a bit of a nuisance. And in this scenario, you're better to go for a team of all at one type. Because at least that way, if they have an all of the one type as well, there'll be no advantages. But then again, you do get... No, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. I mean, it's better if you come up against a team of... You know what it is? It's just way better to use flyers. Why is it taking me this long to realize that? Because amphibians are weak to flyers, so just use flyers. <laughs> yeah, that's the best team. Okay, okay, guys, ignore everything I said. You want to do this tournament, just make sure you got loads of flyers. And you'll basically win. Because if they put in any amphibians, you're guaranteed a victory. Here I am saying that, putting in a full team of amphibians. But maybe that'll mean... Oh, God. Ooh. Okay, I need to take him out with as least amount of tax as possible, which I think is two. So one, two, and I have to go for two blockier because I think he might have four. Uh, hopefully, Prime Suit just can't kill me in two. I don't think it will. Yeah, I didn't think so. It doesn't even have four. It has three. Okay, and we kill it one. Done. Woo. I thought it was a case of... Like, each was weak to the other, but that wouldn't make sense. I don't know why it took me so long to realize that. I do apologize. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but you watch me for this long, you're, I'm sure you're used to it. You can't talk. You can't speak any other languages. He's an idiot. You can't play any games properly. Oh, is that the... Ooh, 43. Beautiful. And we get a spin on this. Anything good? Probably coin, right? Coin, coin, coin. Yes, coin! <laughs> what a waste. But anyway, guys, that wraps up this video. Before we do, let's collect all of this. Uh, so that is, what was it, 85? 85 DNA? Oh, beautiful. 100 more for another mono Stegotops. And 727 more for another Indoraptor. Uh, how far are we to getting an, another, like, a uh, max level? 2020, 10, 10, 10. That's it. We could make a level 40 Indoraptor. I think I probably mentioned that last time, but I don't want to. I use all of these Indoraptors, all of them, all the time. Uh, and there's no point in me. Like, even when I get the VIP building of instant, like, getting your dinosaurs back, I would rather have six different Indoraptors than buying back the same level 40 once or twice. <coughs> but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.